Hey all, Chris Bassett here, and I'm gonna show you how to take any screen recording like YouTube or TikTok and turn it into a custom ringtone. Let's get into it. You're gonna need three applications, GarageBand, Shortcuts, and Files. GarageBand will let you save the edited music as a ringtone. Uh, Shortcuts is gonna allow you to take your screen recording and transition it into a audio only file and then the files is just like a storage or a middleman. I created a very specific shortcut that allows you to take a screen recording and put it into audio. I'll put a link down in the description, and at the end of the video, I'll also link to the video to show you how to create that. It's all free, just throw me a subscribe. Okay, so we're gonna start off by getting into what, whichever media format uh, that you wanna get your music from. So I'm a creeper, I'm in my bedroom, but I'm gonna use TikTok uh, music. So you want to do at least 30 seconds for the ringtone, so I set it to 60. You can go into the sounds, you can pick whichever sounds you like. Um, TikTok has a variety of different sounds. Uh, I'm going to pick the Halloween theme. So what you want to do is you want to swipe up to start the screen recording and then time yourself for 30 seconds while you're screen recording for this 30 second period. If you don't know how to screen record, I'll also put a link at the end of the video to another video about how to screen record. Same if you were doing this from like a YouTube music video, uh, just time yourself. That way you, your clip is big enough and that way you can edit it down or just edit the parts you want. Say you just want the middle of the song or whatever. So here I went into my photos and I've got this screen recording saved in my photos where I want it saved, looks good. Uh, scroll all the way down to where it says video to audio. Now this only shows up if you download the link that I created uh, with the shortcuts app. But basically that'll transform this video into an audio only file. You can see the now uh, mp4 files are saved into the uh, files folder. So the next step would be to open up GarageBand where you can edit the music file and then save it as a ringtone. So from the main page, the keyboard page, just go ahead and swipe right until you find the audio recorder. Click on that. And then there's a few options we need to change around. Click on the blue triangle, which is the metronome. It'll get rid of a clicking sound. Next, click on the little plus symbol that allow you to change the length of your song. Ringtones can't be any longer than 30 seconds. Uh, I want to keep mine at 8 seconds. That way, uh, every 8 seconds, it restarts the song. Sounds more like a traditional cell phone ring. Next, click on the icon that looks like bricks in order to edit the music. Now click on the loop icon in order to find the file with your music in it. Hold the icon until it becomes a draggable image and then slide it to the left. Now you can edit it here. You can cut out the parts you don't want. You can drag it to the middle of the song so that the, you know, the chorus plays first. Uh, however you want to edit the music so your ringtone sounds the way you want it to. You can hit the play button in the middle to preview the sound. When you're all done, press that triangle in the left hand corner to bring up My Songs. You can now save your edited music to the My Songs library. From here, press and hold the icon and then you'll get options. What you want to do is you want to hit the share button. Now, as you can see, you can share it as a ringtone. Uh, go ahead and rename the ringtone, whatever you want it to do. Since I was using the Halloween theme, I'm going to go ahead and use Halloween as the title. Uh, get it saved and then it'll export as a ringtone. After it was successful exporting the ringtone, go ahead and go over to your settings menu. And then when you're in the settings menu, scroll down to where it says sounds and haptics. And then you can go ahead and go down to where it says ringtones. And then you can set a custom ringtone. So it should be near the top of the ringtones. You can see the Halloween icon is highlighted. Here's the shortcut video. You should check that out. Uh, links in the description to save some cash. Hot deals. Uh, if you got any questions, put them down in the comments. If this was helpful, hit the like button. Thanks.